Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a fun project for you today. This is a churn dash in a churn dash and it makes this great big block. Let's take a look at the quilt behind me. So here's our big blocks right here. You can see this is the block right here and I can hardly wait to show you how to do this because this is really fun. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is one roll of two and a half inch strips and we've used Mama's Cottage by April Rosenthal uh, for Moda Fabrics. And you're going to need some contrasting fabric for the corner of your churn dash and the center of your block. And that you're going to need one and a quarter yards. Your background, which is all the white, you're actually going to need two and three quarter yards. Your border is one and a quarter yards, and it's about a four and a half inch border. And for your backing right here, oh, let me get this thread. There we go. For your backing, you're going to need five and a half yards and we've used regular 45 inch wide and seamed it. So it just makes a really fun backing and looks really great. So this is such a great quilt to make because when you're done, you get these giant big blocks like this and it goes together really quick. We've actually made, um, there's three across and four down. So 12 big blocks makes this quilt and it's going to be a quilt that is 68 by 88. So it's a nice big quilt. Um, and pretty easy to do. So to start with, we're going to start with making our um, half square triangles for the corners. That's these blocks right here. And we have them, there takes eight for each block. So we need, we, we're going to do the easy eight. And that's right here. So when you do the easy eight, what you're going to do is you're going to put a colored square, and we've chosen this navy, with a white square put them right sides together, draw the X with a pen, and then sew on either side of that X on both sides. And I hope you can see that. Um, and then we're gonna cut this four times. And so uh, we're gonna lay our ruler right on the edge because this is our five by 15 ruler. So we're gonna lay that right on the edge and it should intersect right down the center. And I like to cut the sides that don't have drawn lines first so that I don't, uh, I don't lose where I'm going. So here's this one. And then we're gonna cut diagonally both directions. So you cut vertically, horizontally, and then diagonally both directions. And one more here. And this is gonna give you eight, and that's enough to make one block. All right, now what we wanna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna turn all these over to the dark side because we're gonna press these to the dark side. Anytime you have a fabric that's a lot darker than, um, than your background fabric, you're gonna to wanna to press to the dark side so you hide that seam. And golly, I have lots of little clingers today. There we go. All right, we're gonna come over here to the ironing board. I'm gonna fold these up and put them over there. And we're just gonna press these. I'm gonna set my seams. This, this is, this is a big setting right here. We set them all, then we can iron. I don't actually know if that works, but it seems like it would. <laughs> I'm always, always trying to figure out a quicker way to do something. So I'm just going to iron these back like this. Oh. Make sure there's no pleats in your fold. I just had one that looked like it had a little bit of a fold, so I fixed it up. And then I have two. There we go. All right, I'm going to do them closer to me now, and we'll, get, we'll be better at that. And one more, and we're done. All right. Now these, you want to ha make sure that these are four and a half inches, so we're going to need to trim those up. I'm using the block lock ruler for that. And we're just going to set it on one side and trim... We're gonna use this middle. We know we want it four and a half, and this is a four and a half inch ruler. So we line it up on our seam, and then we just cut the two sides like that. And it's very little waste. But we're gonna go ahead and trim up our, square up all our little four and a half inch squares. I'm just gonna turn this a little bit here. So we're done squaring our half square triangles and we have our center square that is also cut to four and a half. And then we need to put our strip sets together. Now on mine you can tell that I matched up colors. So there isn't enough in one strip set to cut 
you know, eight pieces of each. And so I paired two colors together. And of course, that's entirely up to you. You can do whatever you want. But I have a yellow one here that's already sewn together. And so I'm going to break into my uh, roll and I'm going to get um, another yellow. And maybe I'll do this one with the lots of orange in it. And we're going to sew that right down the side. So you have a two and a half inch, your background strip, two and a half, and your, uh, and your strip from your jelly roll is also two and a half. And we're just gonna go over here to the sewing machine and sew those right together. All right, so we're putting our, our uh, fabric together on the edge. We're lining it up. We're putting our presser foot right along the edge, sewing a quarter of an inch down, and we're just gonna sew and let it go. Alrighty, now we need to press it open. And to do that, I'm just gonna lay it uh, color side up, set my seam as I go along, and just roll that back. A lot of times I have these already done and ready for you when I film, and I just felt like it was time to, to show this again. So here's our two little strips. And again, my seam goes to the dark side. So once you get your strip all ironed, we're gonna put our two strips together because we're gonna cut them at the same time. So for the first small block, our segments are gonna be two and a half, or I mean four and a half inches long. So we're going to, I'm just gonna stack them like this and you need two of each color for the inner block. So I'm gonna trim off these edges right here. And then Count over to four and a half. Now I'm making sure these are lined up. My seam stays nice and straight. One, two, three, four and a half. And we need two from each. And I can show you, we're gonna assemble that first block first. So what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna take this center square that we cut and we're gonna put these around it. So I've got this one and this one top and bottom. These two on the sides, like this, and then our little churn dash corners come in like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew this row together, and this row together, and this center row together, and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so now I've got all these sewn together and we need to go to the ironing board. We need to remember that um, for all of our seams to nest well, we're gonna nest these two seams in, I mean iron, and we're gonna iron the other, these other two out. Now a couple of things you wanna watch when putting this together, especially if you're doing it in rows like this, is you wanna make sure your color always goes to your center contrasting square and that your half square triangles always go in. You know, I did one the other day and it had this one going out and I'm like, something's wrong with this. So, you know, watch that, make sure they go in. All right, so let's iron these out. And I'm gonna flip this over right here and just kind of iron from the back. And then I'm gonna flip it over and make sure it's nice and flat on the front. So the top, bottom, the top and the bottom are gonna go to the iron to the outside like this. And then flip it over, make sure it's nice and flat. And then this center guy right here, he's gonna be ironed in. So we're gonna make sure there's no fold on that line and no fold on this line. And we're gonna flip it over and take a look at it. All right, so now when we put these together, this will nest really nicely because we have the middle seams going in and the bottom and top going out. So we're gonna to go to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew these three together and we're just gonna line them up, just lock them up next to each other and make sure, you know, I always take those few little anchoring stitches and then we go to the next seam and make sure that um, it's locked up, nested up nice and tight. Let me move these out of the way, make sure you guys can see. There we go. 
I'm just sewing right down the side. Now this is one of those things that now because uh, we squared the blocks, it's gonna go together really neatly. You know, everything should fit and line up real well. All right. All right, now let's press this out because this becomes now the center of our big block. Oh, got to wait for her little legs to go down. Okay, now this block should measure, let me see where my ruler is. This block should measure 12 and a half. And it does, yay! <laughs> all right, our strip sets now have to be 12 and a half on all four sides. So we need to cut um, two of each color. And again, we're just gonna, we have our strip set right here. So the first cut was four and a half inches long. The second cut is 12 and a half inches long. And again, I'm just gonna straighten up this edge because I moved it now, um, I gotta straighten up again. So when you do these, you might wanna just go ahead and cut all your fours and all your 12s and have your set ready to go. So now I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 and a half. We wanna make sure that's right. So I'm looking at my numbers. Let me count again. I'm feeling a little nervous about it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 and a half. What do they say? Measure twice, cut once. All right. So here's our 12 and a half inch pieces and those should fit. Now, for some reason, yours doesn't measure out right. The size you're looking for is the size of your block. So you can just measure your block. So again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put our top piece on and our bottom piece on like this, and then our two side pieces on. And it's just like three giant rows, just like we did. And then we have the, our corner pieces are out here like this. Isn't that fun? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sew this together. I'm gonna sew the top row, the bottom row, and these two ones to the center big block in the middle. And I'll meet you right back here. You can see over here that I've got my center one put together and I've got my two top and bottom rows. Let's go ahead and press those before we put them together. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these right sides together and add them to the top and the bottom, our little rows. Let's line this up and not quite lined up. There we go. Now you want to do the same pressing actually that we did on the center rows uh, for this, for the top and bottom rows. And I didn't actually do that when I pressed it. When I pressed it, I pressed them all to the out. So because the the top and bottom rows are small. I'm gonna make those ones um, turn and come in so that the, the middle one lays nicer. Sometimes you have to just, you know, go with the flow. Alrighty, here's the side one. Gonna line that up. You can cut your little dog ears off if you want. Some of those little things drive people crazy. You know, they're like, should I cut that off? I'm like, if you want to. I do it if, it, if it's creating bulk in the block, then I'll, I'll look at it and I'll do it. But if it's okay, then I don't die over it. All right, so here, here again, I pressed this the wrong way, but I'm just gonna fold it back with my fingers and go along, and then when I press the block, it'll lay the right way. All righty. 
Now let's press this open. Oh, it looks so fun. So how fun is this? Look at this great big block. I just love these big blocks. The quilt goes together so quick and easy. So when you're ready to assemble your block, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, or assemble your quilt, you're gonna take your big blocks like this and you're just gonna sew them together. You're just gonna take that seam right there and sew them together. And you're gonna do three in the top row. So let's see, let's go to the quilt and look at this. So here we got one, two, three. And see, here's your seam right here. And you just put your blocks together and sew, and it just makes a great quilt. So we have three in a row, four rows down. Again, it's gonna make a quilt that's 68 by 88. And it's just a, just a fun, fun quilt. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Double Churn Dash Quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.